There is another very useful method in link called order by. What it allows you to do is, let's say you have a list here. This is your variable and you're going to add the following people into your list. And what you want to do is you want to sort that using link. So here you're going to declare a variable called sorted by age. Notice its type has to be var because this will return i enumerable. So it's easier to use the var keyword. And then you can pass it your people object. So here the p is referring to the people variable that you have here so this is where you declared it and you're using the lambda operator here and then sort selecting the field age and this will sort the items by that now if you want to sort by multiple fields so let's say you want to sort by age first and then by surname then you can use the then by method here now none of this code will get executed at this point so uh, when you declare these here these will not get executed until you loop through them so the query if you have let's say 10,000 items in your list those 10,000 items in your list will not processed until you reach the for each loop where it will have to go through and sort them and load them into memory so here when we do the first one which is sorted by age if we execute this method here in the for each then the second sorted variable will not be loaded and sorted it will be only loaded and sorted once it hits the lines here so that's why link is known as lazy evaluation and deferred execution so never doesn't execute until needed and then of course you've got another the method here which is you just have a list of strings and what you want to do is you just want to just sort them by a variable called name which you are defining here and using the lambda operator passing it there and then you've got the sorted names and that's a temp variable and you're just printing out the output so if i run this code over here you can see the names are in this example sorted in this order ali james john and sam but if i run this example here which is sorted by age and then sorted by age and name so if i run this here we will get two printouts so you can see the first one is just sorted by age so Ali is the youngest then James then Sam and then John but then we have the next list which is sorted by age and then by name so you can see here John and Sam have swapped position although both of them are 35 because John comes first in alphabet and Sam is afterwards so by using then by you can double sort your list first by another variable and then by another variable